okay guys welcome back to my channel once again um quickly i want to talk about this group of migrants that has just been evacuated from libya to italy congratulations to all of you hmm, you are so lucky so those of you who are in libya um let us know if you heard about it if you witnessed it or you are a participant if you have arrived in Italy, please let us know in the comment section that, oh, I arrived through this uh, safe corridor. It's, that is what it's called. It's called safe corridor. A, a situation whereby some uh, humanitarian activists in Libya would come together to pick some more vulnerable people in Libya and bring them to Italy uh, without any hassle. Okay, so congratulations to all of them. They will move them through flight, so it's not like no no more no more sorrow, no more pains. All right, so it's a good one there. Congratulations to all of them. We are going to be taking a look at the details and see who and who is involved. Then um, I don't really know the criteria or the qualifications you need to have to be part of this. Let's let us take a look at it and see if we can find out how it works and who is qualified and who is not. Now, 119 refugees evacuated from Libya reach Italy. That is coming from UNHCR, that is United Nations uh, Human Rights and uh, Non-Governmental Organization. Now, a total of 119 refugees landed on Tuesday at Rome's Fiumicino Airport on a flight from Libya. They included 90 men, 18 women, traveling alone and eight families wow eight families now some 119 vulnerable refugees evacuated from libya landed at rooms fiumicino airport on tuesday july 30th they included 90 men 18 women traveling alone and eight families from eritrea ethiopia syria somalia sudan and south sudan the un refugee agency unhcr said Tuesday, Tuesdays was the third flight carried out as part of um, as part of a protocol signed in December 2023 by the Italian ministries of Interior and Foreign Affairs and Foreign Affairs (UNHCR, ARCI), the Community of Sant Egido, the Federation of Evangelical Churches, and the National Institute of Health, Migration, and Poverty. INMP. So these people came together to sign this um, safe corridor to evacuate vulnerable migrants who are stuck in Libya. Now remember that in recent times the Libyan authorities have been raiding immigrants in their country, okay, to um, clear the country of so much migrants who are willing to take the crossing. The dangerous sea crossing through the Mediterranean Sea to Europe. The same thing was also happening in Tunisia when the president said that the number of migrants were getting out of hand and they wanted to change the demography of his country. So the raid began, a lot of migrants were chased into the desert, a lot have been lost, a lot have died inside the desert. Okay. Now, protocol for evacuation of 1,500 refugees from Libya in three years. So, this is the target. 1,500 immigrants is what the Italian government have signed to rescue or to, to move from Libya to Italy through this safe corridor in just three years. 1,500. Looks like a kind of 500 per year. Yeah, 500 per year for three years. Okay. Now, the protocol provides for the evacuation to Italy of 1,500 refugees from Libya over the course of three years. It renews the commitment first undertaken by Italy in 2017, which has already allowed 1,509 immigrants so far, people who to travel from Libya to Italy through mechanisms of evacuation of humanitarian corridors. The beneficiaries of these channels are people who are forced to flee their country due to war and violence and who are temporarily in Libya. Okay, so if your country is at war, 
then you stand a chance of being in this uh, category of people that will be evacuated from Libya. Among them are children, women who have been trafficked, people who have survived violence and torture, and people with grave health conditions who have been selected by the United Nations uh, HCR. Okay? Refugees to be hosted in Sai Center's AROCI shelters. After their arrival, 102 people will stay in centers that are part of the hosting and integration system, SAI, while the remaining 17 will go to shelters managed by the AROCI Association. Since 2017, the United Nations Refugee Agency has evacuated or resettled to Italy from Libya 1,368 refugees and asylum seekers. UNHCR estimates that in 2024, globally, over 2.4 million refugees will need resettlement. Now, up to 36% compared to 2022, when the issue concerned 1.47 million people. Regular and safe pathways, including emergency evacuations, humanitarian corridors, resettlement and family reunification, allow refugees to rebuild their future in dignity without being forced to overtake or to undertake dangerous journeys organized by traffickers, which is that one where people fill into Lapa Lapas just to cross the Mediterranean Sea to Europe. At the same time, they are tangible, they are tan the are tangible sign of solidarity towards low and medium income countries that host 75% of refugees worldwide. So congratulations to this uh, group of people that have made it down to Italy. Now, because most countries in, in like Nigeria, Ghana, uh, uh, what do you call them? Just mention them in few. These countries are considered safe countries. That is why it is always difficult for them to include these countries as part of those that they want to evacuate. But if they find anybody who is more vulnerable in Libya, they are also going to include you. I don't really know where the office of the UNHCR is in Libya. So uh, I would have uh, maybe known, if you know, all those IOM, they also know. So maybe if you meet those IOM people, you can tell them your story. If they find it interesting, they may include you in this uh, safe corridors evacuation. Okay? Let me know your own thoughts on this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Please share this video and make sure that it gets to others. Now, if you want to send money to Nigeria, use tap tap send. To do that and use my promo code which is critics news on the screen type it with capital letters and they're going to give you five pounds extra on top of your money five euros for those in europe ten dollars for those in america and canada and 25 aed for those in dubai you can download it from app store or play store thank you and god bless